liquor heist. A woman with a long rap sheet accused of swiping more than $21,000 worth of booze. This time here was, was the worst. You know, it just completely wiped me out. How police caught her and why she never made it to jail. From drug possession to prostitution and now felony burglary. These are just some of the crimes that Tiffany Bari is accused of committing. Now, the most recent burglary charge took place at a Sunnyside liquor store where police say Tiffany Barry broke in during the height of Harvey flooding and is partially responsible for a hefty heist. Channel 2 investigator Robert Arnold spoke with the store owner and joins us live tonight at the HPD substation in southeast Houston. These court documents spell out something that goes beyond a simple smash and grab of a few liquor bottles. This business has been a neighborhood fixture for more than 30 years, but the owner tells us after this burglary, he's had enough. 280, yeah. For 30 years. Oh, no, pretty good. Leroy Ruffin's mm -hmm. easygoing, gentlemanly manner. Okay, thank you now. Has been a mainstay of this sunny side neighborhood. Yeah, I know quite a bit of people around here, yeah. Sadly, these days are ending. This last go around, it just told me that it's over. During Hurricane Harvey, Ruffin's r &Y liquor store was looted. When I say clean me out, they're dead. Police say the doors were pried open, and who knows how many thieves made off with $21,000 worth of liquor, $650 worth of beer, and $475 worth of cigarettes, basically Ruffin's entire inventory. He says he's been hit by burglars before, but never this bad. It really shocked the hell out of me, really. Ruffin says he's had to pay $15,000 out of pocket to keep the store afloat until his liquor license expires early next year. I'm not going to make a comeback. I'm going to close it. Police do have at least one suspect, Tiffany D. Starchild Barry, full name. The 37-year-old is charged with felony burglary. She already has a long record. Police say she was caught running out of the store, but the roads were too flooded for officers to make it to jail. They took down all of her information and got an arrest warrant filed. This house is listed as Barry's home address, but it's empty, and records show she is not in custody. I'm just tired of it. I mean, you know, people breaking in, taking stuff that don't belong to them. Now, Ruffin says he's never seen Barry in that neighborhood before all of this. If you do know anything about this crime, please call Houston Police. And if you want to get a look at other people who've been accused of looting during Harvey, go to click2houston.com. Reporting live from Southeast Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.